Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> Chunks is a typical YouTuber with a massive following. Now I know he sounds like something you'd find in a cookbook or on a label of a Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> so Chunks has done loads of videos with some heavyweights yeah, of YouTube like KSI, He's also done videos with footballers and of course that guy from Man's Not Hot, yeah? And he's got a massive house or a mansion that he lives in with his mates. But that's not the subject of our discussion. The subject of our discussion is when he was asked to rank health, wealth and happiness in order and here's what he said. Why have you put money at the end? Money bro, I'll be honest man, I, 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 I've only come running to money recently fam and I was happy before that so... And now that you have the money you're making, you don't feel like you live a happier life honestly? No, no, definitely not, definitely not bro. Why are you, why are you so happy every day? What are you happy over then bro? Oh, what they didn't put up in was religion. God. That's another reason, that's, that's the most important in my opinion. That's more important than all three. Than all three, I agree. Now that is a very mature and honest answer for somebody that's in his field, yeah? And considering that all these kids look up to YouTubers like him because when he's making videos, he seems happy, he's got loads of money, he's got loads of subscribers, I mean you name it, yeah? So for him to say what he said is a big deal mate. Now my question is, can you really blame the youth for aspiring to get loads of money? And where does our longing for money come from? Number one, it's our parents, yeah? They literally sell us education with the motivation that we will get a good job when we grow up so we can survive. And good job is anything that's high paying. Education is something which helps us rationalize and understand and make sense of the world and even survive in the world that we are going to be traversing it. However, education has become something that we just do to pass exams yeah, so we can get into good schools and a good job and that's it. No wonder people in these you know big uh, stations or big occupations are already useless when it comes to you know morals and ethics and actual real life. It's all about maximizing profit because it starts from this early stage. Parents don't ask, okay, what did you learn? How are you going to apply this when you grow older? How are you going to use it to help people? It's, have you revised? Have you done your homework? Exam. Yeah, it's always the exam mate. Why? Because if we pass exams, we get into a good school, if we get into a good school, we get a good job and then we make more money, more money, more money. <laughs> Number two, it links on to number one, yeah? When we do get into these jobs, yeah, let's just say you're gonna clock out, but your boss, with the incentive of a few extra money, he'll keep you there. Neglecting your family, neglecting your friends, neglecting your dreams and aspirations. Nah mate, for an extra few bob, you would rather stay at that job just so you can pay the bills. Fair. Fear is something that pushes us into doing jobs that we don't like, into becoming miserable and eventually this misery eats away at us. I'd say that's one of the primary causes of depression. And money has turned people into dogs. And when it comes to Jenna, that is literally the case. Now because of a large following and the six figures that she gets per month, she is literally pretending to be a dog for a living mate. <laughs> Normally women take offense to the B word, yeah? But if you say the B word to Jenna, I think uh, she'll take it as a compliment and probably even roll over for you as well. <laughs> so you can see people even sell their morality for money as well. I'm rich! I'm rich! I'm rich! YouTube is replete with gold digger pranks. And that's why the famous drug dealer Pablo Escobar used to say, everyone has their price. But People that cannot be bought or sold are a force to be reckoned with. It's not about money, it's about sending a message. And it reminds me of an incident where a companion of the Prophet peace be upon him was called to one of the 
opulent leaders and he wanted to lure and entice Rabi ibn Amir. Rabi ibn Amir, one of the lowest of the companions, when he went there, boy, he showed absolutely no regard for his opulence and his money. And he made such an impression on Rustam that Rustam went, are you one of the leaders? And Rabi ibn Amir goes, no, I'm one of the lowest from amongst them. Yeah, but Islam gave me honor. And that's what we see today. Before the Muslims may not have been rich, but today they are rich. But look, because they have squandered their religion for a meager worldly gain. That's why we're not honored. And then we move on to number three, magazines and TV shows that constantly smash celebrities in our face and their lifestyle. And the celebrities tell us also, Chase your dreams. Yeah, that's right. We made it and it was very difficult. We came from the bottom. You can do it too. Nonsense. Obviously, that's clearly not the case. The government wants us to work, obviously. Yeah, so we can carry on paying our taxes, pay their wages, pay for their wars. UK's got one going on in Yemen and paying for really stupid stuff that they, they, they don't even tell us. Yeah, until 2015 in this country, we were still giving compensation to slave owners. Slave owners. And next we got businesses, yeah? They love to see us spending. Yes, that's right. And considering our society has become more godless, yeah? God has now been discarded and replaced with materialism and capitalism and money. That's what we use to fill in that void. The things you own end up owning you. Think about it. The next time you buy a 40 pound sweater, Realize that it took you half a day's worth of work, yeah? Half a day you spent getting that 40 pounds. So when you're buying something, you're literally buying it with your time. There's a bit of you that you are selling to get that. Dang. So the next time you go shopping, spend wisely, yeah? Because you are literally selling your time. And the next point is our society and in particular our holiday and celebration culture. Our anniversary is not an anniversary till we buy a gift, till we give flowers, till we give chocolates, yeah, till we go out. Look at the celebrations, yeah, we may or may not celebrate them, you got Halloween, you got Valentine's Day, you got Christmas, all of these holidays rely on purchasing stuff. Yeah, these businesses are geniuses because they've literally commercialized. I mean, even the Christian holiday of Christmas has been commercialized. Dance puppets, dance! <laughs> Diamond is a girl's best friend and dogs are a man's best friend, sorry, and Jenna is man's best friend. Hey, hey, <laughs> shut up, shut up! Now of course money is important, don't get me wrong yeah, we need money to survive and have peace of mind. Money, money obviously contributes, let's not, let's not cap right now, you know what I mean? Like seeing my mum and dad like smiling because I'm paying off bills and things that I couldn't do before. And even the Prophet peace be upon him used to encourage the importance of peace of mind and if you don't have peace of mind then it resorts to hunger, it resorts to poverty and that can affect your faith, it can uh, affect your health and spirituality and loads of things. So of course you need to have money mate. I guess knowing the balance is like um, if you were a ship and money was the water. It's absolutely fine as long as you're riding on it, as long as the water is outside the ship, I mean it will facilitate your journey. But as soon as the water starts coming inside the ship, that's when your ship is in problem and it starts to sink. So that's why don't allow money to come inside you, yeah, in your heart. Don't let it affect you as a person. Now remember this quote, money is a means to wealth, not the wealth itself. So money can help you purchase the bus ticket, but money is not the destination that you're going to. And I think it will do us well to know that money can buy us a house, but not a home. It can buy us medicine, but it can't buy us health. It can buy us books, it can't buy us knowledge. It can't talk to you when you're getting over a heartbreak. It won't visit you in hospital when you go through an accident. And it doesn't make people miss you when you die and of course it will not benefit you in the grave. I mean the pharaohs used to try that. 
yeah they used to be buried with all their golden ornaments but where are those ornaments now they've been dug up thousands of years later and they're in our museums so guys life is to be lived yeah it is not to be purchased my life here might not seem like much to you but it's the life i choose you don't choose a life dad you live one and allah has given us this life as a gift and regardless of who we are he's given it free of charge and the least that we can do is thank him for it in a way that he's asked us to through salah through prayer which is only a few minutes a day let's leave it there guys until next time assalamu alaikum